Asian in America is a symbolic exhibition and six course dining experience that explores the Asian American identity through virtual reality, food and drink, and poetry. Each of the six courses, including one bonus course, dives into different topics within the Asian American narrative through the lens of food. As a first generation Chinese American, Asian in America has been not only a way for me to introspectively think about my own upbringing and heritage, but also create a safe haven for Asian Americans and other minorities alike to bond over shared experiences through the very visceral and emotional medium that is food. Half of the six courses are presented with a virtual reality component, so guests actually go into the VR headsets and what they see in front of them is a brushstroke by brushstroke recreation of the dish that they're about to eat, accompanied by audio narration of me explaining the symbolism um, behind the ingredients, the techniques, and the presentation of each dish. For example, course number four, which is titled Model Minority, talks about the model minority myth and how it's extremely harmful for all Asian Americans. On one hand, I feel I have to be a certain way so that I'll be accepted by my American peers, but at the same time, almost caving into that peer pressure might then ostracize me at home or have my parents see me as not, you know, the model Chinese child that they wanted. If you look down at the plate itself, it looks like a maze, a literal maze made out of chrysanthemum. At the center, there is a veal sweetbreads, which is the main protein of the dish. I chose veal sweetbreads very deliberately because I see it very much in parallel with the model minority myth itself. Veal sweetbreads are an offal, and usually offals are considered you know, gross or perhaps distasteful. But when they're served in a certain way, usually fried with a very thick sauce, all of a sudden they're gourmet and gourmand. And this very much feels parallel to the Asian American experience of you have to present in a certain way, you have to show yourself in a certain way, you have to say certain things, then suddenly you can be accepted even though it feels strange because perhaps that's not really who you are. The first dish of Asian in America is called Substitutions. In this dish, I essentially take all these different things and substitute out so many of the ingredients, so many of the cooking techniques, that the final plate just looks nothing like the way it really should. I think Presenting it in this fashion, presenting it with a poem, really gives the diners the opportunity to take a hard look at what substitutions they find acceptable when cooking the cuisine of others, when eating the cuisine of others, and to observe the cuisine of others. I think what we have to ask ourselves and what we also have to hold others liable for is at what point is it too much? At what point do substitutions go too far? My husband Matt is our mixologist and each of his cocktails also talk about different themes within the overall Asian American, American psyche. One of the cocktails, for example, is called eggs and bananas, which is, you could see it as affectionate or perhaps derogatory term assigned to Asians who act too white or white Americans who act too Asian, which is obviously poking a little fun at us, but also ask the question, is it a bad thing to identify with culture that's not your own? And why do we assign these names for people who do? Doesn't that make things more divisive or is it just uh, a joke and all in good play? Asian in America is currently on tour across the US and Canada, and hopefully to other parts of the world as well. We officially debuted in 2018 at the Museum of Food and Drink in New York City, and have since been also to the Museum of Chinese America in New York as well. We've also been to San Francisco, and hopefully we'll be in Los Angeles, Atlanta, Philadelphia, and other cities in 2019. I hope you follow our journey, and hope to see you at the next one.